Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, I'm out here. This Dollar Tree is right around the corner from my from my daughter's, and uh, I've said a couple of times that we have Dollar Trees like every 10 minutes, you know, 10 minutes away from each other, but I've never actually timed them. So I think that's what I'm going to do this time. going to go from this Dollar Tree to the next one and to the next one. It's uh, about 2.40 in the afternoon, so hopefully there won't be horrendous traffic. Uh, I am on Atlantic Boulevard, well, just off of Atlantic Boulevard. Oh, seriously? more than one way to skin a kitty. So I had said something one day, I was on my way to a Dollar Tree, and I passed the entrance, and it was like, you know, right around rush hour or whatever, and there was no way I was going to turn around and go back and try to cross through all the traffic and the traffic lights and all that mess, so I just rode on to another, to another one of the, the Dollar Trees, and Sue Nelson, who lives out uh, somewhere in the Cascade Mountains, Gorgeous scenery. You need to go check out her and uh, Camera Lady's channels. I'll have some links in the description box eventually. But uh, yeah, they, you know, th there's out there. There's miles and miles of just miles and miles. So and we're here. It's miles and miles of insane humanity. So. But yeah, we have we have multiples of everything. <coughs> I don't know how many Dollar Trees there are in Jacksonville itself. Jacksonville is the largest city land-wise or area-wise in the United States. I forget offhand how many miles it happens to be, but. I think it's somewhere around a thousand square miles or something something to that effect it's it's big it's it's ridiculously big it takes a couple of hours to cross from one side of the city to the other on the interstate so and they call it a city it's really back in the 70s I think uh, don't quote me all these little towns consolidated to try to save money and just run one, you know, one main fire department, one main sheriff's department, etc., etc. I guess it works. Uh, you still have all these little areas with their individualities. You know, people are people are asked, you know, where are you from? And they say Jacksonville. Well, what part? And they'll say, oh, Ortega, or. Mandarin, and something to that effect. And those are just, you know, they used to be little little towns or whatever. They'd have been eaten up by the huge conglomerate. But, yeah, I think there's something like uh, somewhere around 20, 20 Walmarts. And again, most of them are within a 10 or 15 minute ride of each other, depending on traffic. And, 
you know, which one which one you actually want to go to. When I just left that one dollar, the, the Dollar Tree we were just at, there was a Walmart just a couple of minutes down one of the other roads. And we'll be up to another one here in a little while. Come on, what are you doing? through this traffic light and here's the next Dollar Tree Dollar Tree. And let me see how kind of time we have on my recorder device here. Six minutes and 35 seconds with traffic lights. So we'll leave here. We'll call it seven minutes. the exit. Come on folks, I'm on a mission. Get out of my way. Across the street there is the local small aircraft facility. It takes up to I don't know, twin twin engine jets, small Lear jet type things. People don't know what the long skinny pedal on the right is for. But yeah, we're actually making fairly good time. We'll catch another traffic light up here. But it's not that bad. Sometimes in another hour or so, this this traffic light, when you get caught at it, you'll be quite a bit further back. Or it could be quite a bit further back. Traffic builds up really quick. Actually, if I made a right-hand turn here, I could go back down through a through a neighborhood and end up at the back of my neighborhood. So I'm a, I'm only three to four minutes away if you go to your if you go to the right. And the next Dollar Tree is just up here. Just past the next traffic light, actually. Let me know what you think, folks. If you like this type of a video, I can do a Walmart to Walmart 
or a actually if I hit Beach Boulevard I can do Walmart and Dollar Tree at the same time because they're both I got a Walmart that a little for a little ways away is a Dollar Tree and then the next one I get a Walmart and on the other side of the intersection is a Dollar Tree so I could probably do both of those again depending on traffic They're going to be under 10 to 15 minutes. So the other corner of this parking lot is Dollar Tree. And just beyond that is the Big W store. I don't know if you can see the, the blue over there. The other side of those palms. But here we are at the third Dollar Tree. This is one one of my main Dollar Trees. And like I said, there's there's Walmart. Because I usually do Dollar Tree and then Walmart. I don't know. I think I'm going to run inside there and see what I can find. What do we got going on? 11.25 11 and a half minutes there from one Dollar Tree to another. So, uh, let's see here.